Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby and today on The Cool Cookie Show we're going to be decorating some baseball cookies. For our baseball we're going to start by flooding the base with white. For the outside ridges I'm going to be using a Teco number one tip. And for flooding, I'm going to be using a Wilton number three tip. With a little time to dry, we'll be all set for our next steps. In order to set some guidelines for my red braiding without a lot of notice, I'm using a cookie cutter as a stencil and the sharp part of my tool just to make a little granulated marking on the surface of the icing where I can pipe my line. Now we've got our baseball. Now to color our baseball glove. For the first part of the piping, I'm going to go along and outline the fingers and the thumb. Now we'll place two little X's between each finger. We'll now make a little great pattern between the finger and the thumb. And we'll add a couple stitch markings for detailing. And a little mark over here. All done our mitt, now let's let it dry. For our baseball bat, we'll be flooding it with icing that's a little bit of a lighter brown than the glove. Now we'll let the baseball bat dry for at least 6 to 12 hours before we go in and complete the rest of its details. For our baseball bat, we're going to start by drawing in the grains of wood using a brown food coloring marker. There's no such thing as perfect with this technique as there's no two pieces of wood that are exactly alike. Then we're going to use a little bit of piping red icing to make a couple red lines on the bat. Batter up! Our baseball bat's all done. Now let's let it dry. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Cool Cookie Show. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Want to be a part of the creativity? Let me know what characters and shapes you'd like to see in the comments below. For more of my cookie creations, check out my channel, tune in every Tuesday, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet!